So the second paper that we have uh, to be presented, or the, the second project we have to, to present today, is one by Mateus Gonçalves and Thais Lulis. Uh, they're doing some interesting research on uh, fake, fake uh, information that is placed in hotel uh, for, for, for hotels. You know, like we always think when we, we want to travel, we go there and look for those recommendations. But it seems that they're not always uh, real recommendations from people that uh, intended to help us. It's, uh, there are other vested interests there that need to be considered. Are you going to, to use your, your computers? Or maybe we'll just, so you just set off the thing there. Just leave this computer there as well, because we may go back to it afterwards.
part that differs a lot from average reading. Disclaimers are not known in Spain that even neighbors. Disclaimers post many negative reviews in short amount of time. Through the reviews are other contributions besides text, photos, views, videos, travels, travel itineraries, something that they cannot cannot once does have. Uh, one main research we found is and the, the most reviews we found is like a, uh, your boss tell you to, to do a fake review or the big man just do fake review to promote his hotel, to promote his business or to defamate the other business. Uh, could say, could make a review in another hotel to low down the score we have in the site. For example, in the Circle Divider, if you enter now in your cell phone, you can make a, many reviews you can we wish in the many hotels you wish. All right? And the, the Circle Divider don't make any restriction to people who are making this hotel. Uh, they, they don't have any, any restriction to you to make the many many reviews as you can, All right? And final consideration we have, uh, the difficult is complex in description whether a review is a false or true, because they are not on your face, you have to research about, and the people actually make this, not the computer who makes this, this, this comment, all right? And uh, the technical advertising is more difficult, and defamation, then defamation stands. Since the pure characteristics are found for the type, and especially in relation to behavior of behavioral characters. And our future work is to research a template to make a bedrock <coughs> to find false ratings and other types of opinions on all sharing sites as well as WooCommerce or business evaluation. Uh, what is the final deliver we make we wanna make in, in this research. For the graduation, uh, we're gonna show you a model of how to make how to 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 how to know this is a fake review. Uh, we're gonna show you a VPN tree or WML we found it how how is the best way to show. But if, with this model we're gonna See the how, how sorry. <laughs> Say it in Portuguese. Uh, it's fast. The steps. Uh, all the steps. Uh, we are going to to fast to to know how to know if the the evaluation the review is fake or really true. And yeah, this is all we will have to show you right now. Okay. Thank you very much, Matheus. Questions for Matheus? Are you the best in social robots? Sorry. Are you the best in social robots too? Social robots. robots. Yeah, so we're trying to do that too. Uh, th does the literature say that there are already social rob robots, uh, including reviews for hotels? Yeah, but not all the articles say that. Many are focused focus on behavior settings uh, and the linguistic settings of they were good. Mm -hmm. And to do the evaluation, are you using some kind of retention automatic? Uh, to do this evaluation, uh, until now, we just do a systematic literature review. Uh, and with that, we want to develop a model to VPN T or my map. So you're not you're not going your model is probably something that will happen prior to using, for example, sentiment analysis yeah. to to try and figure out in an automated way mm -hmm. uh, if uh, a, a message is fake or, or not. A future work to to develop to build develop a, a software that can make this, but in this initial process uh, to the graduation graduation is it safe? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just the model. <laughs> the result of your evaluation is binary. Uh, 
yes, it is false, no, it is not false, or do you tend to have a probability? Is this more about to be false or it's more about to be true? Uh, it's a probability. You want to make an inference in the paper Based in? Based in the fact that it's false. <laughs> you will define this, uh, this way to calculate the probability, or you have a system of we're gonna found it. Okay. They have the factors. <laughs> they have the factors already, and they they, they want to use those those factors that uh, show that it, it's uh, very easy or it's very likely that uh, one of those reviews is fake mm -hmm. to give it, let's say, uh, a number closer to one than closer to zero. In, in a, yeah. But so there is no formula no. for now at least. Yeah, because formula. this is like so. Yes. You can find this in your text uh, based on this. Yeah, fuzzy logic will probably be yes. something that will appear in their model somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Mateus.